if you'd like to see how I made this beautiful fan USB charger and LED light for my cab over watch this video Charlie Cushane here to do another truck camper mod. This time it's one in my cab over. And as you would think, we watch TV here and my wife reads lots of books and stuff like that. And we want to improve it though. In particular, see this light? The light actually works good, but that's all we have is the light. We don't have any 12 volt outlets for charging phones. And a lot of times we boondock, and when we boondock, we don't have enough airflow. So I want to add some fans. So what I'm going to do is take this light out and add a USB charging port right next to it. And then these beautiful 12 volt fans, I'm going to mount right here as well, so that you can aim it where you want. It has three different speeds, and I'll probably add an extra switch for making it even easier to turn on and off. So stay tuned as we get this project underway. Okay, the first thing we have to do is take this light down so we can sort of get a feel for the wiring and I can snip those wires and use this to make my template okay here's my strategy I'm gonna get a piece of wood 12 inches long and mount it such that when you put it on the ceiling it's on an angle and the light will be down at the end where it was the fan will be at the far end over the what they call the penguin and then this is the USB with its own switch on off switch and this is going to be the switch on off switch for the fan so you don't have to keep pressing this button. Um, you'll set it to the speed you want then you can turn it on and off as many times as you want with this. So that's my plan. Let's start executing. Okay. The way this is going to work is I made a little triangle piece of cardboard. It was a mock-up to check my angles. And then I laid it out on this board. Here's the, basically the roof. This is what it's going to look. Here's the front. And it goes like that, such that on this three and a half inch leg is where all these lights and everything are going to go. Okay, the fan will mount to the side and doesn't touch the roof. So that'll be perfect. I can spin the fan however I want it without it hitting the roof. So now I got to cut some pieces. It'll probably be like this. All right, and then another piece like this. And make my groove, and then all my wires can run in this area here. basic shapes made. After I'm done, I'll cut the angle so it'll fit up onto the ceiling. But first we have to put these all together. My favorite technique is using a biscuit. These are happen to be a number zero. They're all numbered. And it, you cut a little slot with this biscuit joiner. It holds and lines up the pieces of wood together when you're gluing them. So let's start doing that.
Okay, now for the fun part. We get to glue all this together. I got all my clamps ready. I got my glue ready. And just in case you're curious, I'm using this Tight Bond 2. Premium wood glue water resistant. It's good for interior and exterior. Um, the thing you should also know, these biscuits are hydroscopic. They absorb moisture and they like swell up and get tight in the joint. I will do this edge, this long edge. Put glue in the, in the groove. Okay, now go back down. This is going to go right in there. There we go. Now we'll do these boards on the ends. Okay, let's unclamp this thing. The glue is dry, it's been 24 hours. And there's two. One for my side of the bed, one for my wife. Now, we have to cut this on an angle. And it's probably not quite a straight line, it's probably a curve to match the curve of the overhead of my cab over. So let's go check and see if we can determine how much of a curve. The box is about this long, six inches. And what I'm trying to figure out is if it goes like this all the way across, do I even need to cut a curve? And if I do, huh, it's very slight. It's just bigger than the thickness of this piece of metal, which is about a sixteenth of an inch. Okay, according to my plan, one side has to be four and a half inches, and the other side's three and a half inches. So if we now transfer that to this, Here I'm beveling both ends of the wooden bracket at about a 10 degree angle just for purely aesthetics. Routering all edges of the part makes it a much nicer, smoother look. Here, I'm using the foster bits to clear out as much of the inside wood as I can, just to make the part lighter, which I think is always a great thing when you have a truck camper. Alright, time to 
putting the Ruli's black brackets on and they're actually going to help hold this uh, to the ceiling. That's the purpose of these. So we're just going to put some glue on. Okay, Chip, it's your turn to shine. Look at this mess. I'm tired of doing all the dirty work. All right, here's a behind the scenes look of what I normally do on my projects. I prepare all the electronic pieces and I put long extension leads on, as you can see. And I'll show you how I did this soldering technique. It came out fantastic. So, the lights I put extensions on, these switches have long extensions, these USB ports have extensions, and then there's these fans. Um, the fan just had a wire coming out and just running off, and I didn't like that. I wanted it more directed. So what I actually ended up doing was I took this big, I think it's a fuse capacitor or something, and wire, I, um, actually zip tied it to the back of the fan, and then ran the wire through a hole I drilled to come out. So when I mount this, this will all, all this wire will be inside, and you won't see anything on the fan, see? It looks beautiful. You don't see anything. This is my favorite way to join two pieces of wire. It's a special tubing that has low temperature solder in the middle and a heat shrink tube the whole length and a couple of beads that uh, hold the wire. So you sh just put a flame to it, heat it evenly, and voila, a perfect joint. Perfect. Now it's time to put some stain on this. And in case you're wondering, I'm using Ipswich Pine. It's what matches my truck camper trim right now. But before I do that, I use a tack cloth. And what this does, it's very sticky and it takes off all the dust. I do this, I do this before I stain and between coats of polyurethane. Flip these over, because of course, you always start with the side you see least. Let's start staining. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, these have dried for over 24 hours, and now it's time to polyurethane. And as always, we start with the bottom. The part you see least, and I'm using Helmsman Spar Urethane. It's good for indoor or outdoor. So, let's start with this bottom. Mm. 
no runs, no drips, no errors. Perfect, coat number one. Okay, let's do some wiring. The first thing I've already done is put these USB ports in. And they fit in perfect, I was just checking the hole size. Next thing we want to put in is these on-off switches for the fan. And these go in just like this. Perfect. It goes the same way as this on-off switch. That's one. This is the other one. Remember, we're doing a left and a right. One from my wife's side of the bed and one from my side. Got it like that. Perfect. The light is going to wire through here. Now, I can't mount the light because I need to get access to that hole to mount it. So we're just going to sort of do that loose for now. Same with the fan. I need to get in that hole to mount this. But I'm still going to wire it. And just leave these hanging like that. That way I can then test the whole system to make sure it's wired right. Okay, here's both of them all wired up and tested. That's the critical part. And ready to install in the camper. So the goal is to put the screws through up tight to the ceiling, then mount the fan and light over top of that. So you won't see any screws. It'll be like held up there seamlessly. So let's go install these. Here I'm attaching an extra thick piece of maple to the ceiling because I didn't think attaching my whole device to the ceiling, that thin plywood was enough. So I'm adding this 5 16 inch thick maple to the ceiling and then I'm going to screw through both and that should definitely make it strong enough to hold the weight of my entire device with the fans and lights. Okay, the first thing we have to do is hook these pigtails coming out of the ceiling to these pigtails of the new thing. There we go. Now, drive the screw for There's one. There. That's nice and tight. Perfect. So far, so good. Now, we get all this mounted. <sighs> yeah, that's where I might want to have it. You can loosen it, adjust it however you want. So far, the fan looks good. Now let's put this light in. There. There. Let's go turn the power on and give it a test. Let's turn the fan on. Oh, perfect. And you can change the speeds. It's off. So the fan's on low speed now. Nice breeze. And you can turn it off here. Let's see, USB port. It says my battery's at 13 volts. And the light, which you can aim wherever you want. Spectacular. Now let's go do the other side. Here we go. Fan's working. USB port's working. And this light's working. 
this project came out fantastic. I love the fan, something we've never had before, and the USB port my wife will love while she's using her Kindle at night. Sweet.